Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on AI Labs. Today I'm going to talk about a tool I found on x.com and I thought we could try it out together to see if it's worth it. It's hosted on Together AI and primarily uses Llama models, which is why it's called Llama Coder. So let's jump right in and start building something with it. I'm going to ask it to build me an app to organize my tasks. We'll give it a prompt to make the app. And as you see, it has started building it in the side panel. This is the app that it built. It's a pretty basic interface, and I don't like it that much. I think we might need to make some changes to the UI. Fortunately, they have a dedicated changes prompt box here. Let's ask it to build a minimal interface and also add categories for tasks, along with the ability to create new categories. And you can see that it starts coding again. That was very quick. This is what it built. Let me input a task and see if it works. I'll select a category, but you can see that it doesn't show up. Let's go ahead and add it anyway. Okay, the category function doesn't work, even though there's a drop-down menu for it. Let's suggest more changes. How about making a dashboard UI where we can view tasks and also have a button to create new tasks, and then the further details could be entered in a separate pop-up. Here's the new interface it made, and again, it's not a very good design. Let's try adding a task. Unfortunately, it's not adding the task. It's not working at all. I'll report the issue in the prompt box and also request an improved interface. The interface hasn't really improved, but let's test it again. Still, the Add New Task button isn't working. Let's give it the prompt one more time and see if it fixes the issue. Nope, it's still not working. So maybe the problem is that I'm not giving it a structured prompt. I thought I'd try taking a prompt from ChatGPT and using it as the change to be implemented. I've just pasted the entire prompt here, so let's see what it generates. It has started writing the code. Let's check if it gets it right this time. Here's what it generated. Let's see if it works. And nope, it's still the same issue. It still doesn't work at all. Let's try using a different model from the model drop-down. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and ensures you won't miss any of the cool tools and tips we've got coming your way. I think we might be able to improve the performance by using the Llama 3.3 model. We'll give the same prompt, which is to build a task management app. Let's also turn on the Shad CNUI toggle. For those who don't know, Shad CN is a powerful library filled with pre-designed components that you can use to quickly build and design various types of front-end applications. This is another cool framework that they have integrated. So back to the Llama Coder, we've given it the prompt, and as you see, it starts building the app. But we've encountered an error. Let's copy the error and paste it into the prompt box so it knows what issue we're facing and can help us fix it. It looks like this is a functional app now. Let me add a new task and select a category as well. It works correctly and has added the task. The performance might have improved because of using the Llama 3.3 model. So let me tell you about Meta AI's latest release, the Llama 3.3 model. It is gaining attention as one of the most capable open source large language models currently available. Notably, Llama 3.3 is performing exceptionally well in areas like coding, math, and reasoning, often surpassing some of the leading proprietary models, including Gemini's large language model, Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and OpenAI's GPT-4 Omni. While it doesn't excel in every category, its standout performance in these specific benchmarks Marks highlights its potential. Additionally, it's significantly more cost-effective, about 25 times cheaper than GPT-4 Omni, making it an appealing option for certain applications. So to further test it out, let's implement some changes on the app. So, having learned my lesson, I'm not making up the prompt myself. Instead, I'm going to use the prompt I had ChatGPT generate earlier. I'll paste it into the prompt box and see what it produces. Right away, we've received an error. Just like before, I'll copy the error and paste it back into the prompt box. 
However, this is not at all what I requested. I wanted a dashboard, but let's see what it has created and try adding a new task. So I added a task, but it didn't appear. There might be an error, so I'll prompt it to make a fix. I'll also tell it again to structure the dashboard so that all tasks are on one page, while sorted tasks appear on another page based on categories. It's done with the edits. Let's check if it works. Yes, the task was added, but oh, it's a filter system. It didn't create a dashboard with separate tabs. Instead, it added filters for the tasks. That's an acceptable workaround, and it works. If you click on Publish App, you'll see at the bottom that it publishes the app and copies the link to your clipboard. If I open a new tab and paste the URL, the app starts up, and you can see the app I created right there. I'll be linking this in the description, so if you want, you can go and check it out for yourself. Another cool thing is that they've also linked the GitHub repository. If you go to the top right corner, you'll see a GitHub repo button. Clicking on this will take you directly to the GitHub repository. As you can see, they've listed it as an open source Claude artifact built with Llama. If we scroll down, you'll notice that you can also run it locally on your machine. The instructions are provided here. To get started, first copy the git clone command to clone the Llama coder onto your local machine. Next, you'll need to create an env file and add your together API key. The env file is used to store your API key securely. After that, run npm install to install the dependencies, and then run npm dev to start the Llama coder. For the Together API key, they provided a link. Just sign up and get your own API key. So I wanted to play with this tool some more, so I thought I'd try another prompt. They've provided a placeholder prompt to build a calculator app, so I'm going to use that exact prompt and see if it creates a good calculator app. Let's try this prompt using the Llama 3.3 model, which is definitely better than 3.1. The result is a basic calculator app. The interface is okay, not great, and it doesn't seem like a very good calculator overall. Next, let's try the Quen 2.5 coder model that's also available. Wow, this is definitely a much better interface. Now let's see how the Gemma 2 model performs. And yeah, it's not that great either. So we tested out Llama Coder. And while it's improved with the Llama 3.3 model, it still can't be compared to tools like Cursor, Windsurf, or even online platforms like Bolt.new and V0. It couldn't build full stack apps initially, and the UI also needed a lot more work, even with the Shad CN UI integration. It's not a great free alternative, and there are other tools that might work better for your needs. That said, it's available online, so go ahead and test it out for yourself. Try building an app and let me know if you were successful or not. So, if you like this video, drop a thumbs up, and be sure to check out this video where we test Windsurf and it actually builds a full stack app for us, complete with database implementation. Well, that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring.